How's it going folks? Jake Ford here with Cunis Green Bay RV. Uh, here to go over the 267 BHS uh, Jayco J Flight. Now this coach is 30 feet long, four inches from the tip of the tongue all the way to the back of the bumper. Uh, weighs in at just under 6,000 pounds. I, I think it's about 5,800 pounds there. Um, corrugated aluminum exterior here with a wood frame. Now uh, Jayco's are known for a couple, couple key features. Uh, Goodyear tires, standard on all Jayco's. Magnetrust roof, standard on all Jayco's. You and a buddy can get up on this roof, no problem, and jump around if you really want to. Um, solid steps come with most of, most of the campers other than your single axle stuff. Some, some of that stuff doesn't always, but this model will generally come standard with these solid steps. Also, you're gonna get power tongue jack, power slide, power awning. Stab jacks are normally a manual, uh, a manual stab jack, but most people own a drill, so you just save yourself about 1200 bucks doing that. Um, on this coach, you're gonna get a little outdoor kitchen towards the rear back here. You also got a TV backer right here for when you wanna watch the Green Bay Packers kick the crap out of the D Detroit Lions. Um, LED lights throughout the whole coach um, and a lot of other great features that we'll go over. Uh, now we'll take it around the backside and I'll show you a couple of key features over there. All right, folks, onto the back side, the non-door side of the camper here behind me. We got the big slide, double pieces of furniture. So you got a dinette on one side and a, and a couch on the other side. Up front here, you've got your pass-through storage door. One of the cool things about Jayco's magnets that hold everything up. That's really easy because you probably got something in your hands that you want to put in there. So you can't hold it open while you're doing it. Also on these guys, on the indicator light on the side, on the other side, and also on the back of the coach, I'll point that out later, you're gonna have camera prep. They don't wanna assume that you want $1,500 worth of cameras, but they also don't want you drilling holes in their camper. So they get all the prep work there for you if you wanna add it, real easy. Um, towards the back side of the slide here, you've also got your outdoor shower right here with hot and cold settings. Now, you know, the kids get all muddy, uh, dog gets all muddy, you can hose them off out right up, right up back here. Also, you've got your city water connection and your black tank flush. Black tank flush, in my opinion, one of the best innovations that's been out in the last few decades here. Uh, picture a dishwasher on the inside of your poop tank. Any of that shrapnel that gets stuck to the sides, gets it all out of there for you. Helps protect you over the winter months when everything freezes and expands. Um, let's see, you've got your dump station right down over here with your black and gray dump right here. Um, cable and satellite inlet right over here. Uh, next, we'll take around, walk around the back side and then go over to the outdoor kitchen as well. All right, folks, now we're on the back side of the coach back here. This is where you're gonna be plugging in your coach right back here. You got a nice 30 amp cable to go in and then it, it detaches nice and easy from the exterior of the coach, pops right off. That way you don't have to try to stuff a, stuff a cord in there or anything like that and it gets all bunched up in there. Plus up top here, that little black UFO looking deal up there, that's the backside camera prep. Like I was explaining before, you got the two side marker ind indicator light uh, camera prep. You've also got the backside camera prep. Now, when you install the Furion brand cameras, these cameras are on all the time, not just when you put it in reverse or turn your blinker on. They're on all the time. So if you're wondering, oh, what's behind me? What's next to me? Do I have room to, to get over into the next lane when you're on the interstate doing 65? These things are gonna be able to watch all around you and keep you safe. Um, now over on the front side, you've also got your outdoor kitchen. Not a huge outdoor kitchen, but enough to get the job done for sure. You've got hot and cold settings on a sink dispenser right in here. And then you've also got a nice spot to keep the juice boxes outside. Also in this coach, right underneath here, you're gonna have a quick LP connect where you can plug in your, your favorite grill or if you wanna get um, um, a grill that mounts to the bumper. Those grills are sold separately. Not everybody wants the same style, so Jayco kind of leaves that up to you to, to get that done here. Um, on the exterior, um, that's, you also got speakers up top here with zones A and B, inside and out. Um, now we'll take a walk inside and check out everything in there. Okay, folks, I'm gonna be behind the camera for this part. We're going through the interior of the coach here. As you walk into the front door, the first thing you see is your college futon style couch. This guy just jacked nice right in the middle, just like that. Also, you've got your dinette in the corner over there. That obviously drops down into a bed. Two people you can get on there if they like each other. Back over here, you've got your thermostat right on the wall, hot, cold, up, down. That's about all it does. Back here, you've also got your bunk system. 600 pound weight rating on both bunks. 
with USB and 110 in both. You got your sink on the exterior of the bathroom. Their thought is if you have one child in the bathroom taking their sweet time, another one can be outside brushing their teeth, getting ready for the day. Decent sized bathroom with skylight and vent. Turn right around from the back side of the coach here. Gas and electric refrigerator. You got an oven, stove top, three burner cooktop there. One of the other cool things that Jayco does here that I'm a big fan of is inside their cabinets, they put struts. Struts that hold open the door for when you've probably got something in your hand that you need to get up there. Towards the master bedroom, you've got your entertainment system here with a little shoe nook underneath. And then right in the middle, you've also got your Bluetooth stereo with zone A, zone B, in and outside the coach, and a good spot to hang what looks like to be about a 32-inch TV. Now into the master bedroom here, we've got two entry doors, one on each side. They've kind of scrunched everything up towards the front of the coach to help keep it as close to 30 feet as possible while giving you ample space in the living area. But up top in the master bedroom, you've got USB and 110 on the side of the bed. You've got hanging closets on both sides, uh, LED lighting. You've also got a TV backer right in the, in the bedroom that matches the same TV backer outside. So if you'd like to move the TV from the bedroom into or outside, you can do that. Well, that's pretty much all I can tell you about the 267 uh, through a video. If you'd like to see better, uh, better quality pictures, actually, just, just come on in and see it. Uh, you can come on and see me almost any day during the week other than Sunday. Um, I'm Jake Ford, just like the truck. I'm the only sales guy here with a beard, so I'm pretty easy to spot when you get here. Talk to you soon.